Have you ever wondered how the intricate dance of global politics affects our day-to-day -day lives? It's a question that merits consideration, especially in today's interconnected world. We're all players in the grand theater of geopolitics, whether we realize it or not. Our daily lives, the food we eat, the gadgets we use, the news we consume, are all influenced by the pulsating rhythm of geopolitics. This isn't just about nations flexing their muscles on the world stage, it's about the alliances they form, the tensions they navigate, and the impact of these dynamics on global stability. In the coming moments, we'll be taking a deep dive into some of the major geopolitical flashpoints and alliances that are shaping the world as we know it today. We'll explore how these dynamics weave into the fabric of our daily existence. So, get ready to embark on a journey through the complex world of geopolitics. The world's political stage is not without its dramas. Today's geopolitical landscape is rife with tension, and some of these conflicts are causing waves that reverberate far beyond their borders. Let's unpack some of these major global tensions and the ripple effects they're causing. First up, the Russia-Ukraine conflict. This clash has sent shockwaves across the globe, sparking a standoff that has pushed NATO and Russia's relations to a boiling point. The stakes are high, and the fear of a wider conflict looms large. But the ripple effects of this conflict go beyond the political stage. It's triggered a humanitarian crisis and disrupted global food and energy supplies, underscoring the interconnected nature of our world. But the drama doesn't stop in Eastern Europe. Let's cast our eyes towards Asia, where the South China Sea and the Taiwan Strait are bubbling with tension. China's growing military presence and territorial claims are challenging the status quo, raising the temperature in an already heated region. This brewing tension could potentially ignite a flashpoint that sends tremors through the region. And let's not forget the ongoing conflicts in the Middle East and Africa. These regions continue to be destabilized by conflicts that, while not new, persist in keeping these areas on edge. It's a potent reminder that unresolved tensions can simmer for years, causing untold suffering and instability. So, what's the takeaway here? The escalating tensions we're seeing are not isolated incidents. They're part of a larger global concern. They're pieces of a complex geopolitical puzzle, each influencing and being influenced by the others. And as these pieces move and shift, they shape our world in profound and often unpredictable ways. Clearly, these escalating tensions are not isolated incidents, but a global concern. As we move forward, it's crucial to keep an eye on these hotspots and understand their wider implications. Because, like it or not, these tensions affect us all, shaping the narrative of our world and setting the stage for what's to come. In the face of such tensions, countries are reshuffling their deck of alliances. The geopolitical puzzle pieces are moving, creating a new complex image of international relations. The United States, for instance, is doubling down on its relations with traditional allies. Across the Atlantic in Europe, the U.S. is solidifying ties with NATO members, a move that is seen as a counterbalance to the rising tensions with Russia. Across the Pacific, the U.S. is strengthening bonds with Japan, South Korea, and Australia. This is a clear effort to counterbalance China's increasing influence and assertiveness in the region. Speaking of China, it's not sitting idly by. China is forming a closer partnership with Russia, a significant development in the geopolitical landscape. This alliance is not just about economic cooperation, it's also about military and technological collaboration. The two powers seem to be joining forces to challenge the US-dominated world order. Meanwhile, emerging powers like India, Brazil, and South Africa are also repositioning themselves. They are building new alliances and partnerships, often outside the traditional West-centric frameworks. These countries are playing an increasingly important role in shaping the global agenda. The potential implications of these shifting alliances are profound. One possibility is the emergence of a bipolar world order, reminiscent of the Cold War era but with different players. This time, the US and China could be the two superpowers, with other countries gravitating towards one or the other. But it's not just about power dynamics. These changes also impact global cooperation on critical issues like climate change, nuclear proliferation, and global health. The success or failure of these efforts depends on how well these reshuffled alliances can work together. These shifting alliances could redefine the world order as we know it. As we navigate this new geopolitical landscape, it's crucial to remember that alliances are not just about power. They're also about cooperation and shared goals. Whether it's tackling climate change or ensuring global stability, we're all in this together. 
Such tensions and alliances don't just change the political landscape, they also pose significant risks to global stability. We're not just talking about the potential for military conflict, although that alone is a chilling prospect. Consider this. A major military clash could have devastating consequences on a scale that's hard to fathom. Cities devastated, economies collapsed, and countless lives lost. But the ripple effects would be felt far beyond the immediate combat zone. Global supply chains could be severely disrupted, causing shortages of essential goods and skyrocketing prices. Furthermore, rising geopolitical tensions could also hinder international cooperation, a vital element in addressing some of the world's most pressing problems. Take climate change, for example. It's a global issue that requires a global response. But if countries are at odds, if they're more focused on their strategic rivalries than on the health of our planet, that necessary cooperation becomes much harder to achieve. And then there's the possibility of a more fragmented world. If countries begin to align themselves strictly along ideological or strategic lines, the world could become increasingly polarized. This could lead to a breakdown of international norms and a return to a might-makes-right mentality, where the strongest nations impose their will on the weaker ones. And then there's the human cost. Increased instability can lead to humanitarian crises, as we've seen in conflict zones around the world. Displaced populations, devastated infrastructures, and lost generations are the tragic consequences of such instability. Finally, there's the impact on our collective sense of security. In a world riddled with tensions, where alliances shift like sand under our feet, fear and uncertainty can become the norm rather than the exception. This can lead to a vicious cycle, where fear fuels more tensions, which in turn fuels more fear. The stakes are high, and the repercussions of these tensions could be far-reaching. It's a sobering reminder of just how interconnected our world is, and how the decisions made in capital cities around the globe can impact all of us, wherever we may be. But amidst these political storms, there are glimmers of hope. Indeed, the world is not entirely a stage of power struggles and conflicts. There are significant players in the field who still carry the torch of peace and cooperation. Multilateral institutions, such as the United Nations, continue to serve as platforms for dialogue and negotiation. They tirelessly work towards fostering international cooperation and resolving disputes peacefully. Moreover, many nations prioritize diplomacy and dialogue over aggression. They understand that conflicts are not a zero-sum game and that everyone loses in a war. These countries actively engage in peace talks, striving to settle differences and disputes through conversation rather than confrontation. Despite the tensions and conflicts that we've discussed, these instances of diplomacy and cooperation serve as reminders that there's always room for peaceful discourse. These glimmers of hope remind us that peaceful resolution is still a viable path. Navigating the future of global stability is no easy task. As we stand on the brink of a new era, it is clear that the world we once knew is changing. The geopolitical landscape is evolving and so too must our approach to managing it. Open communication, a steadfast commitment to international law, and finding common ground on pressing issues like climate change are no longer optional. They are essential. In the face of rising tensions, we must remember that diplomacy is our strongest tool. We must use it to foster understanding, to mediate conflicts, and to build bridges where walls once stood. This is not a task for the faint-hearted. It demands courage, resilience, and above all, a shared vision for a peaceful world. The road ahead is challenging, but with the right approach, a stable and secure future is within reach. It's a journey we must embark on together, for our shared future depends on it. Knowledge is power, and staying informed is crucial. As we navigate this complex geopolitical landscape, it's essential to arm ourselves with the facts, dive into research, read, listen, and learn about the world around us. The more we know, the better we can understand the implications of global tensions and alliances. But don't stop there. Engage in constructive discussions, share your thoughts, listen to others, and learn from differing perspectives. This exchange of ideas can lead to better understanding and nuanced insights. And remember, our political leaders are accountable to us. Demand they prioritize peace, cooperation, and respect for international law. Encourage them to find common ground on pressing issues, like climate change, that transcend borders and impact us all. In the face of geopolitical complexity, collective effort is key. We all have a role to play. Let's not underestimate the power of informed citizens in shaping the direction of our world. 
by working together, we can help shape a more peaceful world.